Hello and welcome to the 741 channel. Thank you for stopping by. I was getting ready to do some soldering on this circuit board here and went to turn on my soldering iron and instead of seeing the temperature setting I'm getting an error message. S-E or maybe that's 5-E but either way that error code means that it is time to replace the heating element in the soldering iron here. Okay, so the first thing that I did was I found one of my old pencil irons here, and I've got that heating up in the background since we're gonna need another soldering iron to fix this one. So while that heats up, let's take this apart. So I'll just unscrew the tip here, and I'll pull that off and set it aside, and you can see there's a look at the heating element in this iron. So this just slides out of the base. You can see the heating element itself. There's a spring here to help ground everything. And then this little circuit board to mount all these wires to. So when I bought the soldering station, it did come with one replacement heating element, which is what this is. And you can see it's got a pigtail with four wires on it. So basically what we're gonna need to do is desolder the four wires from this one and solder this one in its place. So you can see on the replacement element, these wires are all stripped back at different lengths, and I think that's an attempt to help locate them on the board here, but I think what I'm gonna do is just make note of where they go myself, and you guys can follow along and keep me honest at the same time. So it looks like in this case, the red one is furthest back towards the wire, then the blue one, and then we've got the two clear ones here. I'm assuming it doesn't matter which clear one goes where, but we'll follow along and put the shortest one towards the front of the element there. So you can see I've got this positioned with my handy helper here and we're going to try and use my solder sucker to get the solder off of here first. If this doesn't work I'll just use solder wick. Okay, so that's all the wires. We should be able to just pull this out of here now. Okay, so now I'll use some solder wick to clean the excess solder off of these pads, just to make it a little easier to solder the new wires onto. Okay, so I got the board cleaned up pretty well. Now I'm gonna put the new heater in. First thing I'm gonna do is fish these wires through this spring, and then I'll kind of position this where the old one was, and then start fishing these wires through their respective terminals. So I think I got all the wires routed here. We'll just spin this around so I can see the secondary side of the board. Okay, so I've got all the wires fished through here and I think I'm ready to start soldering them into place. So I don't expect I'm gonna win any J Standard Awards for soldering from the IPC, but this ought to do the trick. I think everything will stay together here. Okay, so we'll just bring the body of the iron back up in place. And then you can see that the very end of the board here is a little wider than the rest of it. And that fits into a couple of slots that are here in the body of the iron. And we'll just kind of line those up and put them in. That should be seated, so now we'll bring back the tip. And screw this in place. Okay, that should be back together. So I'll plug the iron back into the unit now. Okay, now we'll turn it on and see what happens. And it looks like the temperature is counting up like it should. No more error message, so I think we're good to go. That's pretty much going to wrap things up for replacing the heating element in my Xtronic 4040 soldering iron. If you need one of these heating elements or you want to learn more about the Xtronic soldering iron, I'll leave a few links down in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do that as well. If you'd like to support my channel in another way, please consider visiting my Amazon store, which is also linked in the description below. Thanks for watching. Thank you.